Want early access to new tutorials? Be sure to hit the join button on my channel to become a member and gain perks such as early access to new videos and one-on-one -on -one support on my Discord. Hey guys, it's Alpha and in today's 5M scripting tutorial we're going to be going over key presses and giving weapons to your character and also notifying them using the built-in GTA notification feature. So first of all, what we're going to do is obviously go to our server directory. And then we're going to be making a new resource today. I'm going to put it in my scripts. And I'm going to call this one key press. And then obviously the first thing we're going to need as per usual is the FX manifest. Got Lua. And then we're also going to need a client dot Lua today. So we're going to go into the FX manifest.lua first. I've also changed my color scheme on Visual Studio Code. If you're using Visual Studio Code, which I do recommend, and you want to have the same color scheme as me, what you can do is go to the little settings wheel in the bottom left, and then go to color theme. And I'm using Monokai. You can play around or use whatever one you want. But um, if you obviously want to compare it to mine, I'd say use the same color theme as me. It's quite a useful one. So yeah, go with that one if you want to. Um, obviously, the first thing we're going to be doing is the FX version. Cerulean. Game. GTA 5. Then we're going to do author. Alpha. Description. A key. Press. Script. Version. And then what we're going to need is client underscore script and then client dot lua like so and that's all we're going to need for the fx manifest dot lua so we can close that now and then we're going to open up the client lua and now we're going to be doing uh three subroutines today two functions well three functions actually but two functions are going to be used inside of the other function a subroutine is just a section of code that can be re rerun over and over when it's called so the first one we're going to be doing is, well, I'm going to add a comment so you can understand it. So yeah, how you do a comment in Lua is just two dashes. And then if you want to keep it inside of brackets, you just do two open square brackets and then two closed square brackets. So this one's going to be give weapon function. And then the other ones that you're going to make are a notify function. And also the key press function. So this one we're going to call give weapon to. I oh, will just do give weapon. That's fine. And then we're going to need two parameters. I'm going to call them weapon ID and uh, ammo. Why not? Um, and then we're going to need to add an end. Okay, and indented inside of the function, I'm going to do give weapon to head. This is a native uh, of 5M. You can actually go to the 5M natives website and uh, check out all of them. Um, I, I do reference this a lot, so I do recommend going to that. I will put the link to it in the description. I'm going to do get player ped and then in more brackets, minus one. This gets the player ped of the actual player. Like your, your player pad if you're the one that's activating this function. Um, and then we're going to do comma, get hash key. Uh, and then this will be the parameter that you've used for weapon ID. So if you call it something else, call it exactly what you called it, but I've called it weapon ID. This is case sensitive, so make sure you've got the capitals if you've got them. Weapon ID. And then the next one will be ammo, because that's also the next uh, parameter that we've used. So that's got to be exactly the same as well. And then it will be false and true. This is saying if the uh, if it's hidden. And this is saying if it forces it into your hand. So I, I want it to be forced into the hand. So I put that to true. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add some comments. So you know what each of these are. So that's the target. Or the, the person that is going to give the weapon to. Uh, weapon... I need to add these in brackets. Weapon hash. 
on my account. It's hidden. And force in. There we go. You don't need to add these comments. I'm just adding them so you understand what each part does if you don't already understand it. So that's all we're going to need for that function. The next function is for the notify. So I'm going to call it notify. And then we need one parameter. I'm just going to put message. I'm going to need to add an end to this function. And inside of it, obviously indented, we're going to need to do set text component format. And then in uh, brackets and speech marks, we're going to do string in all caps. String is the data type. Uh, string is just text, basically. So we're setting it to be text and then add text component string. And then we're going to do message because that's the parameter that's being passed. This means that it can, you know, do multiple messages, not always one fixed message. Display help text from string label. These, are, these all of these words have caps by the way for the first letter just making sure you know that and then inside of the brackets we're going to do zero zero one minus one i'm not entirely sure what each of these are but it is referenced on the natives if you do want to learn more about that uh, i'll just do the exact same that i've done and that's all we need for the notify function next up we're doing the actual key press function this one's a bit different we're going to need to create a thread. So we're going to do citizen with a capital uh, C dot create thread with capital C and T. And then inside of brackets, we're going to do function and then more brackets. And then not inside this function set of brackets, but the next one, we're going to bring it down and then we're going to put end to the end of that function. And then inside of this thread, we're going to do while true do this will just mean that that loop will run indefinitely oh like so and i'm going to add an end to it i will just uh, add some comments to show what these are and then inside of this while loop we're going to do citizen dot wait and then we're going to do one. This, this is needed when you're doing a, a, a thread with a while loop um, because it will loop indefinitely over and over and over very quickly. And if you don't do this, it will run so fast that it will actually crash your, your game. So you need to add this. Uh, I just do one because that's one tick. That's fine. So I'm just going to add a little comment. And then below this, we're going to do an if statement is control just so we can do pressed or released. Uh, I'm going to do released. So this is when you release the key is control just released one. And then here we're going to need the actual uh, value of a key. Uh, so I'll link the, the natives or not the, the, the natives, but the 5M documentation or the values of each key, but I'm going to use the key K, which is 311. Um, you can do whatever key you want if you get the right ID for it, but if you just want to do the same as me, that'll be fine. There we go. And then we're going to do give weapon. So what this is, this is actually the same as our function up here. So it's actually running this function up here. And then we're going to use the parameters, weapon ID and ammo. So now the arguments that we're going to do inside of it is weapon underscore pistol. So it will give them the pistol. If you want to give them another weapon, such as assault rifle, you can. That's fine. You can just search up the, uh, the hashes for each GTA weapon. But we're just going to do pistol. And then we're going to do a comma. And then the next argument, which is ammo. So I'm just going to do 100. That's fine. You can do whatever amount of ammo you want to give. I'm just going to do 100. 
And then we're also going to do notify, which is this function just here. And then we've got to do the message that we want to send. So this will be in speech marks. We'll do key press triggered pistol given with 100 bullets. And now we're going to do an else if because we're going to do another uh, key press. You could just leave it at that and do an end and then that's it, it will work. But I'm going to do two key presses inside of this one um, thread. So the next one we're going to do is is control just release obviously in brackets one and then this time I'm going to do the key H which is 74. press H. Oh, I'm just going to add some comments to these ones so you understand what they're doing. Procedure, sorry. if and obviously we've got an end on the end of that go there and inside of this else if we're going to do set fed to ragdoll get player ped minus one and then we're going to do 1000 1000 this is just the, the time so obviously oh what have i done here was there so yeah get play paired obviously that's getting the target i'll add some comments in here this is time one and this is time two i'm not entirely sure what these do they might not even be used anymore um but then still needed and then we're going to do zero then we're going to do true 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 these are more um, arguments which are needed in this native. I'm not entirely sure what all of them do, but they're needed, so just put them in. And then we're going to do another notify. E press triggered. Ragdoll. We're good. There we go. That's fine. There we go. So that's all we're going to need for this. So basically, what I've shown you to do is make these functions, which can then be called from the same script. If you want to make them called from other scripts, you're going to need to do server sided functions, but we are not going to cover that in this video. So this is just client sided functions, which are used inside of this thread. So now what we're going to do is save that i'm going to go back to our server.cfg and then we're going to start the resource in here i'll put it right below my first resource ensure key press save that and then we can actually start up the server okay so here we got an error which uh says key press does not specify an fx version so we're just going to go back into the resource and check for that error in fx manifest.lua uh, I see the issue I've made. I need to do fx underscore version. So make sure you didn't copy that the same way that I did. That was a mistake. You need to do fx underscore version in the fx manifest.lua. But now we can restart the server and it should be fixed. Okay, there we go. Just restarted the server and here it is. Started resource key press. So it's running just fine now. Now we're actually going to boot up 5M and test it out. Okay, so another mistake that I made was on line 20. Uh, on the else if statement I forgot to put then at the end of the statement like so we just need to add that in and then it should work just fine and now we're going to restart the um, resource in the console you don't actually need to restart your entire server just do restart and in the name of the resource and it will restart just fine without the server needed to be restarted okay so now we're going to press the first key press that we made which was on K and as you can see in the top left, key press triggered pistol given with 100 bullets. And here we have a pistol with 100 bullets. 
So that's the first key press, works just fine. And then the next key press is on H, and that makes us ragdoll. There you go, key press triggered, ragdoll triggered. So now we can just press H and it'll ragdoll us. So obviously you can do whatever you want with the key presses. It doesn't need to be, you know, giving a weapon or triggering a ragdoll. It's just an example of two things that you could do with it. And then also if you don't want to do key presses, but you still want to do giving weapons or triggering a ragdoll, you can use that in other things. It's just two examples that you could do. Hopefully you'll learn something in this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment of what else you'd like me to do. Also be, be sure to join my Discord server, which I'll be ha having linked in the description. I can provide support for you there, as well as other people in the community who also know what they're doing. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.